Hello, 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 and welcome back to Amaka's Healthy Kitchen. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Like, we can't thank you guys enough, especially our new subscribers. You all are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for joining us. I say you are highly welcome. Thank you guys so, so much. Um, as well as our returning subscribers, like we can thank you guys enough. Like you all are amazing. Thank you so, so much and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to produce your fresh fufu or even gari from this cassava. So if you want to see how, please keep on watching. Walk to you so I can be close to you. It's really simple if you look at it that way. Mm. Time that we get by with money, we don't know. Pockets empty, but us are full anyway. Hey, playing like children, and love like our Yeah, so we are going to go ahead by peeling the back of the cassava. You can see the way I'm peeling that. You will make sure you remove the back gently. Honestly, like this, you know, brought back so, so much um, memories. Like, guys, um, I used to do this with my grandma back then in the village. It's actually bringing back so much um, precious memories, guys. So, yeah, this is how you do it. You want to take your time because, um, again, you can't rush doing this. <laughs> you need to take your time to do this you know this part so yeah as you can see how i'm doing that if you see any unwanted um um cassava like you know you just carefully take that out so yeah i'm just going to continue to be doing this until i finished um peeling everything So now after peeling all the back of the cassava, I'm going to go ahead and give it a thorough wash. So here as you can see, I'm just um, trying to cut the bigger ones. So doing this is going to help soften our cassava. Ah, 
so um now after washing this cassava i'm going to go ahead to um transfer them into a bowl into a big pot like into anything you want to that got um a cover so yeah as you can see i'm just i just transferred them into a bigger pot so i'm just going to pour water let the water go above the um your cassava and then i covered it so as you can see after about three to five days that was how the water you know was looking but i kept changing the water as i don't want any um odor at all in the kitchen so now the next thing we are going to do is to separate the um, cassava from the chaff so as you can see some of them are still in chunks and uh, i'm not going to go ahead and soak this in the water again so what i'm going to do is to go ahead and blend this so the weather here made it um difficult for fermentation but if your own did ferment really well you don't need to blend it so now you can see we are blending this very nice and smooth and after blending this i'm just going to pour this into my sieve so now i'm just going to be straining this and i'm doing this um carefully again i'm not changing water i'm just using the same water yeah so this is um how it's looking again i want to appreciate each and every one of you if you are new here you are welcome you are highly highly welcome i appreciate you all thank you so so much thank you so yeah this is how it's looking these ones are just um chaps and i'm going to be throwing this away you don't need this part you can see So now we are done, you can see, I'm just going to remove um, more water. So this is our fufu, as you can see, it looks so, so good. So I'm just, um, as you can see, I'm just transferring them into my straining bag. So now um, after this, I'm just going to tie the bag carefully and i'm just going to allow the water to be draining out on its own you can see Yeah, so I just um, need to put um, something on top of it so that more water will actually go away. Yeah, so this is the final outcome. You can use this to make your fufu. You can use it to make um, gari. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you so much and give this video a huge thumbs up. So I hope this is very helpful. I hope it's informative. I hope you like it. If you did, please go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to Amaka's Healthy Kitchen if you haven't. And um, I will see you all in my next video.
Thank you and bye. Bye, love, please.